So you've got a WordPress website and you'd like to start driving some more traffic to it. Well, Pinterest is a fantastic place where you can advertise your blogs and your products that are on your WordPress website and drive traffic from Pinterest to your site. So one of the really awesome ways that you can generate pins for your website uh, is a tool called Pin Generator. And what it does is it instantly creates a pin for any of your blog posts and inserts it at the, into the bottom of your blog post. This way, like this, over here. So here's my blog post on funny dog costumes and here is a pin. So this was generated with one click. So this way, when readers are reading through your blog posts, they can, uh, when they see a pin that they like, they can repin it to their Pinterest and in turn, you will receive traffic coming from them. So today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can generate these Pinterest pins for your website and insert them automatically in one click using a really cool plugin. So here's my website, it's a gifting website, Gifts for Kevin, and I'm gonna generate a pin for this uh, post here called uh, Funny Dog Costumes. So it's a bunch of funny dog costumes and we wanna create a Pinterest pin for it. Uh, that's gonna be inserted at the bottom exactly like this. So I'm gonna log into my WordPress account and I'm gonna to go to plugins and add new. So we're gonna add a new plugin and we're gonna search for the plugin and it's called pin generator. So type that in and hit enter and you'll see the pin generator comes up here. So I've already got it installed here. Um, so you'll need to click the install button here and then activate. So once you've done that, you'll see that uh, you'll have a pin generator option on the left-hand side of your screen. If you don't see it, just refresh your page and it'll probably appear there. So head over to that uh, menu item there. And we're in the settings page of pin generator. So the only thing that you need to do is find this access key. So this access key uh, is going to be the thing that allows you to connect to the pin generator. And we can see here that we've got a few options. We can select the color of the... Uh, pins that we want to create. This is my color for my website. So I'm going to leave it as that and then we can select the template type We'd like to of type of pins we'd like to create so you can look at uh, all the template types here and select your favorite But for myself, I like to go with uh, random templates so that it just mixes them up and keeps it fresh and Then of course you can add show by pin generator here. I keep it on because it's uh, it helps the tool and yeah, so I'm gonna first show you where you can get this access key from. So head on over to pingenerator.com and this is the site where that does all the pin generating for you. So uh, if you, alternatively, if you want to generate pins in another way, the pin generator really uh, allows you to pop in a website URL and generate pins for that website URL instantly. But I'm showing you guys today the direct WordPress uh, integration and the WordPress plugin that works with this. So I'm gonna show you uh, how we can grab the access key. So here's a quick example of uh, some pins being generated using a URL, but uh, that's not the purpose of the video. There's some other videos in my feed. If you wanna learn more about it, you can go learn more there. So to find your access key, you'll, you'll need an account on Pin Generator, and you can simply go to sign up and uh, you know, the usual way. And then once you're signed up, uh, you click on your profile icon, go to profile, and you'll see a whole bunch of information here. And here's your WordPress plugin access key. So all you need to do is copy that and take it back to the plugin and then paste it in there. So once that's been pasted in, you hit save changes and now you're all set up and ready to go. So, cool, so that's done. So now we're gonna head over to our posts page. So this is where all of our blog posts uh, are sitting. And here we go. So I've got a bunch of posts, uh, all about gifting ideas and, uh, and such. And we can see here on the right-hand side in this column here that there is uh, the pin generator pins that you can generate for. So you'll see I've got a bunch of pins generated here already for the site. Um, but I'm going to show you how to generate your own one. So I'm going to go down and find the uh, funny dog costume pin. So here it is over here. 
and I'm going to generate a new pin for it. So let's click generate. You can see it says generating a new pin and it should tell us as soon as the pin is generated, new pin image created, and then the image is updated here. So boom, there we can see it's updated. We have a new pin image. And if you click on it, you can see it uh, zoomed in. So very cute. <laughs> so this is basically using your featured image from your blog post uh, as the image for the pin itself. So one thing you can do is, uh, let's say you want to change the title. Uh, so let's change it to cute dog uh, costume. So this way you can set a title that is different from your post title. Let's say if you wanted to make it shorter or just make it a little bit different. And when you're done with that, you can generate uh, the new pin. So it's generating. And there we go. We've got a new pin with a new title. Cute dog costumes. Fantastic. So now let's go. Oh, so you'll see this checkbox here. So it says show in pin post. So if you have a pin here, you can select. Uh, deselect this or select it to show it in your post. So if you don't want to show it in your post, you can uncheck it. If you do want to display it in the post, you can check it. And yeah, let's go over to the post and have a look at it. So I'm going to go view this post. So we can see here's the post with some funny dog outfits. And all the way at the bottom here is the pin we created. And so the idea here is users like your post, they see this pin and they go, cool, I'm going to save that to one of my boards. And you'll see that this Pinterest icon is automatically added here. And users can click on it and it will take them to a little pin saving mechanism where they can save any of the pictures from your uh, the post. <laughs> These costumes are ridiculous. And then you can simply click save on the one you want and it'll uh, redirect the user to save that picture to any of the boards that they want. So, It'll ask you to choose a board and you're on your Pinterest profile now. And I'll select, uh, let's say, something dog related. So sausage dog gifts in this case. Cool, you've created a pin. Fantastic. So we can exit this. And yeah, so that is the way you can create Pinterest pins for your posts. If you go on over to posts here, you can really generate lots of pins really quickly. You can simply click on a bunch of pins at the same time. Oh, got an error here. Let's try that again. Okay, something funny going on there. And you can see new pin image created, new pin image, all new pin images created. So great, that's fantastic. Um, and all of these pins will now be in your posts. So. Yeah, that's a super easy way to create uh, Pinterest pins for your WordPress posts. Uh, the, the plugin URL is here itself if you want to have a look at it. Uh, it's on WordPress. And yes, if alternatively, if you want to generate pins in another way, you can go to the Pin Generator website and you can input any URL you like here. So let's take this, of, and of any website, it doesn't have to be a WordPress website. So let's take this, uh, I'll show you the website first. Uh, this is a product um, on a website. What is it? A block table lighter and ooh, lots of pop-ups. So this is not my website. This is somebody else's. Don't know what's going on here. Wow, it's a bunch of big images and stuff that are loading. So, okay, here's the block lighter. So if we go back to pin generator, so we see we've got the same URL here. Let's just click generate and you'll have an idea of what comes up. So what it does is it scans the website. It looks for the website's title and the meta description and scans it for all its images. And it uses that to generate uh, Pinterest pins. So you can see there's a bunch of pins here and we can edit the pins as we like. There's also a ton of templates you can use. Uh, let's say you... Oh, there's a bunch of holiday templates. Let's, there's a bunch of templates you can use here. Or alternatively, you can just randomize templates uh, for, for the site to use all templates available. Um, I personally like to select a few that, are, that work well with it. So you can see we've got quite a few cool uh, 
compilations here and cool designs. And additionally, you can change colors and fonts. Um, you can upload your own images and simply drag your images across to the pin uh, and that'll change the image in the pin. Um, what else? Uh, oh yes, of course, it links directly with your Pinterest account. So you can schedule all of the pins at once on the screen directly to your Pinterest account. You simply select a board here uh, and you can pin directly to Pinterest or schedule the pin for later. So it's a really great way to schedule lots of pins to your Pinterest site really quickly. Um, some great editing options here. So you can edit an, an individual pin like this and select a new image and a, a new title for any of the pins. But if you're using a single URL like this for all for the same product, you can actually edit all pins at once using this bulk action section here on the left-hand side. So we can say, let's change this to table lighter. And you can see that it has changed the text for all of the pins. So that's really handy if you want to make lots of edits to the text for all the pins available. And then once you're happy, I like to schedule all and all of the pins then go up onto your Pinterest profile. Um, and it'll be into, into your scheduling, into scheduling here. Additionally, if you uh, want to make your own templates, you can go over to the template section here and you can edit any of the templates or you can create your own templates. Um, so here are all, all the shared templates from the community. If you like one of them, you can simply go, okay, cool, I like this one. You can simply click on it and it'll take you to the template editor where you can change the text, change the brand name or the image. And of course here you can set uh, what fields are, dyna are dynamic. So over here we've got title and you'll see that it's got curly braces around it and title, but in the pin generator you can see that it uses the title from the page it detects. So that's, like, that's a dynamic field. Um, and we set that using our dynamic text fields here. And the same thing that we can do for images and colors. So this image here, if you see we've got this button here called Use Detected Images. You turn that on and it uses the detected images from the post. And the same thing with colors. So here is Use Dynamic Colors for that. And of course you can add your own, your own text here. Um, I'm just going to delete that. Uh, or you, you can add your own images. Uh, so you can place that anywhere you like. And you also, uh, a rectangle, so a shape, or any SVG. So SVG shapes, there's a ton of SVGs here. You can upload your own, you can generate them, or you can pick them from a library. So yeah, so that's, that's a bunch of templates that you can create so to suit it uh, perfectly with your brand. And that's it in a nutshell. See you in the next one.